following a successful democratic political election in November 2015, Myanmar is busy preparing itself to make the political, economic, social and legal changes that will continue to ensure the sustainable development of its economy. Foreign participation has grown to unprecedented levels as international companies compete for investment opportunities in one of the newest and most promising economies of Asia. Myanmar, also popularly known as Burma, has historical roots that stretch back into antiquity. Situated in Southeast Asia, at an intersection between India and China, it is a largely rural, thickly forested country. Famous for its Buddhist pagodas, it has become a place of pilgrimage for worshippers and tourists alike. On 8 November 2015, Myanmar held landmark elections to replace the civilian government formed by the military in 2011. The National League for Democracy, led by Aung San Suu Kyi, enjoyed a landslide success, winning just under 80% of the seats in the upper and lower houses of parliament. As a consequence of its large majority, the NLD will be in a position to lead political and social reforms and also dominate the process for the election of a new president. An NLD government demonstrates the progress that democracy has made in Myanmar since it opened its doors to the international community in 2011. The success of the national vote, which has seen the people of Myanmar choose their first democratically elected government since the early 1960s, serves to further strengthen improving international political relations. But what really makes Myanmar such an attractive place to invest in? Because Myanmar is a very resourceful country, it has a lot of natural resources, including energy resources. Second, it's located in a very strategic location. It's three neighbor countries or country group, including China, India, and Asian countries. It accounts for nearly 50% of the total population in the world. It's an investment market that nobody should neglect, particularly the America, because the Americans have very strong financial resources and also they bring in new technological ideas, which will be very, very high demand as far as the high growing Myanmar is concerned. For the legal field, it's like this. We follow the English common law system, so it's quite similar to the American system. And we have the company law, which is very similar to other countries. And legally, the, our legal uh, system is quite strong. The only thing is sometimes what happens is when foreigners hear things that uh, well, our legal system is not good and foreigners are prejudiced, that's not true. Because I can uh, give an example where even a foreign company on, on a point of law won against one of the ministries even. So we have, the, we have a very good legal system and if we really go to court, especially if it is foreigners, the courts really uh, try their best that justice is done. For the investors' point of view, uh, firstly is the predictability. So predictability is uh, one of the main issue to invest in those long-term investment, particularly for infrastructure development, long-term sustainable uh, investment to be take place. So to achieve all those uh, factors, our chamber has always try our best to engage with the government, dialogue with the government and try to get all this to be take, uh, in place for our uh, long-term investors. With a population estimated at 53.7 million in 2014, Myanmar has significant untapped agricultural potential and a rich endowment of natural resources in the form of oil, gas, minerals and a variety of precious gemstones. Myanmar is ideally situated to take advantage of the large export markets of India and China. It is also a member and was the chair country in 2014 
of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations ASEAN, trading bloc. ASEAN includes some of the fastest growing economies in the world. The cornerstone of the Myanmar economy is agriculture. It contributes between 30 to 40 percent of the gross domestic product. Up to 70% of the 32.5 million national workforce is engaged in agricultural activity or depends upon agriculture for their income. Furthermore, agricultural products generate roughly 25 to 30% of export earnings. Well, I think Myanmar has a lot to offer. Um, geographically, I mean, if you see, we are actually uh, north-south and we cover a lot of latitude that you have all sorts of different climates. So um, in terms of like agriculture, you can have uh, different type of climates, you can have different type of plantations, all sorts of different things that you can do. And we also have a beautiful uh, coastline that you can you know, develop a lot of interesting things um, along, along the line. Myanmar's diverse topography, climate, water resources and ecosystems offer farmers and investors the opportunity to produce a wide range of crops, livestock, poultry and fish. Rice is currently the most important agricultural commodity and the majority of production is centered upon the Irrawaddy River Delta. Paddy rice feeds the country and also represents the main export crop. Sugarcane, cotton and pulses are other important contributors to the success of the agricultural sector. The production and processing of these commodities was until recently controlled by state-owned organizations. However, in an effort to develop foreign participation and increase local production, these industries have been liberalized. They can help by coming in and doing the manufacturing and also in the agribusiness because we have a lot of land and American knowledge would also help in the agribusiness and also in the, in the machineries for farms and also in, when I say manufacturing, mining and also a lot of production. So America has got the best knowledge and also the, uh, how shall I say, finance and, and the, one of the best management in the world. Although the government provides valuable capital for agricultural production, Foreign investment is also crucial to make up for capital shortfalls and to help farmers avoid alternative capital funding that can carry extremely high interest rates. Despite the importance of the agricultural sector to Myanmar, it has not historically attracted high levels of foreign investment. This situation is slowly changing, but the need for international investors to upgrade infrastructure and research and development is high. As Myanmar's leading mining company, Delco is dedicated to the sustainable development of mineral resources. Building a better future and creating jobs are at the core of our business. We believe that raising the standards of the mining industry will not only boost the economy, it will also contribute towards improving the living standards for all Myanmar's people. Delco. The Rose Garden Hotel, Yangon's newest five-star hotel. This truly unique luxury property offers authentic Myanmar style along with cutting-edge technologies and the latest international standard facilities and services. The Rose Garden Hotel features an elegant lobby, a gourmet restaurant, a stylish bar, and multiple floors of exceptionally well-equipped, beautifully decorated guest rooms. Now celebrating its first visitors, the Rose Garden Hotel plans to offer a sumptuous banquet hall, an entertainment floor with a nightclub, a luxury spa, a swimming pool, a thousand-person ballroom, and much more. A stunning new entry to Yangon's hotel scene, the Rose Garden Hotel specializes in pampering its guests with exclusive five-star amenities and traditional Myanmar charm. The Rose Garden Hotel in Yangon. You are important. 
International Beverages Trading Company, IBTC, Myanmar's leading manufacturer and distributor of alcoholic beverages. Our top-selling royal brand is ranked Myanmar's number one whiskey. IBTC demonstrates the potential of the Made in Myanmar label. We really make sure we act in accordance with the international world-class standard and using the most advanced technique to do so. IBTC welcomes international partnerships, taking Myanmar to the next level. IBTC. MAPCO, spearheading the development of Myanmar's high potential rice and agribusiness sectors. A public enterprise committed to transparency and good governance, MAPCO will soon be listed on the Yangon Stock Exchange. With its in depth local knowledge, focus on innovation and sustainability, and high international standards, MAPCO has positioned itself as the ideal local partner for international investors. MAPCO. We welcome public-private partnerships. It is widely agreed that Myanmar has a variety of mineral resources awaiting extraction, including copper, gold, silver, lead, zinc, tin, tungsten, antimony, rare earths, and precious gems. However, the current players within the mining sector mainly consist of small local players. I can even use a one hand from the international investors who are working in the large scale projects. Because if the big international companies are coming in, I mean, they have a responsible business. And also, when it is a big business, you know, the government can monitor so that the mining sector can grow, not damaging the environment. This is very important. At the moment in the country, the mining sector is growing with the small individuals. So it's very difficult for the government to do the regulation. At the same time, it can damage a lot to the environment also. One of the most successful indigenous mining companies is Delco, which is involved in the extraction of tin, tungsten, and mixed ores. The company has a 50-year permit to excavate tin and tungsten from their mining site in the Dawei district of Tananthari Division in southern Myanmar. Delco combines mining operations with processing and foundry capabilities, which make it an ideal supply partner for companies in the electronics and high-tech goods sectors. It is important that Myanmar not only becomes a supplier of mined commodities, but also develops companies that can add value to excavated raw materials, following the example of Delco. Another Myanmar company that has demonstrated ambition and an innovative approach to integrating different elements of the industry value chain is the Golden Palace Gold and Jewelry Center. This company began in 1990 with a small jewelry production operation. The nascent company added a retail operation in 1994, which proved to be the ideal foil for its production operations. The popularity of the company's products helped it to assure a position of market leadership which enabled the company to further expand its retail operations in 2000. During this period, the company reinvigorated its manufacturing operations through the creation of a more efficient factory using traditional and mechanized methods. A combination of effective production and retailing supports the company's ability to compete in challenging international markets. Foreign investment is expected to increase the number of large-scale mining operations, which will provide the production output to transform the sector into the driver of the country's economic development. The historical lack of large-scale mining operations in Myanmar confers huge potential to investments and renders them almost unique. Myanmar is a country rich in energy resources, boasting reserves of coal, oil and gas, its renewable sources of energy, in the form of hydropower and biomass, also make a significant contribution to the country's status as one of the top five energy exporters in the Southeast Asia region. You know, Myanmar is the, uh, right now the largest exporter of the gas in the South Asia. And uh, we have 51 over million people, and only 30% of our people have access to the uh, electricity. And the, uh, at the downstream sectors and the processing sectors, the infrastructure and the, uh, what we call it, the capacity 
are very primitive and uh, our refining capacity in Myanmar is uh, around 54,000 barrel a day where you compare that to Thailand which is 1 million barrel a day and yet the number of cars and vehicles has been exploding over the last two three years and the, the demand will be actually keep on growing. The country has a long track record of energy trading. It was one of the first countries in the region to export oil back in the 1850s. Our country started produce oil about more than 100 years ago. We are the one of the pioneer in the oil producing countries. And since 100 years, you know, oil is we are producing almost every year. Now, in energy sector, we are the 11th largest gas exporter in the world. We export about 2,000 million cubic feet of gas to our neighbor country, China and uh, Thailand. Another point is that we recently, in energy, in energy sector, the government has already uh, assigned 20 offshore blocks and 24 onshore blocks to various NOCs and IOCs. Western companies have worked with Myanmar for many years, most notably in the extraction of gas from the large offshore deposits in the Yadna field off the southern coast. Foreign investment continues to be attracted into the energy sector. Many oil firms believe that Myanmar holds reserves of resources that have not been explored. Foreign oil experts believe Myanmar's fields could be on par with Britain's North Sea before it was exploited, or Brazil's reserves now. They might even underestimate the bounty. Foreign investment is not only needed for the extraction of energy resources, there are numerous investment opportunities in energy production and infrastructure. These opportunities include the construction and rehabilitation of power plants, transmission infrastructure, refineries and pipelines. Being a frontier country with so much of the potential, and we, uh, we already have a lot of investment in the, in the upstream sectors, but we need more. So that's provide the, the opportunity. And in the supporting industry, like uh, the refineries, the processing industry, and even the offshore base, supply base, and these, uh, these, these are actually providing challenges for the upstream player, but which also provide the great opportunity for the operators. If you look at the electricity market, so we're talking about, you know, uh, 1,500 megawatt almost every year. So you're looking into for the generation. So if it is, if you translate that into the dollar, it is 1.5 billion US dollar every year in the generation. We're not talking about transmission and distribution. So that might be another 1.5 billion dollar every year again. So that is. Uh, the, the kind of a sizable market for the international energy player. The government is focused upon the development of a balanced energy portfolio and as such has made efforts to cultivate the huge potential of its green energy sectors. Foreign investment and technical expertise has been invited to participate in its renewable energy sectors. The aim is to expand the capacity of existing energy plants and implement new green energy production projects. Nestled in the green heart of Yangon, overlooking the golden spires of the stunning Chuetagon Pagoda, Best Western Green Hill Hotel is the ideal option for both business and leisure travelers. With modern spacious rooms, an international restaurant, gym and complimentary Wi-Fi throughout the hotel, you will find everything you need to make your stay a memorable one.
Rose Garden Hotel, Yangon's newest five-star hotel. This truly unique luxury property offers authentic Myanmar style along with cutting-edge technologies and the latest international standard facilities and services. The Rose Garden Hotel features an elegant lobby, a gourmet restaurant, a stylish bar, and multiple floors of exceptionally well-equipped, beautifully decorated guest rooms. Now celebrating its first visitors, the Rose Garden Hotel plans to offer a sumptuous banquet hall, an entertainment floor with a nightclub, a luxury spa, a swimming pool, a thousand-person ballroom, and much more. A stunning new entry to Yangon's hotel scene, the Rose Garden Hotel specializes in pampering its guests with exclusive five-star amenities and traditional Myanmar charm. The Rose Garden Hotel in Yangon. You are important. Best Western Chinatown Hotel warmly welcomes you to Yangon. Our hotel is ideally located in the heart of Myanmar's commercial capital. Relax in comfort and style in one of the 91 contemporary design guest rooms. Our stylish restaurant serves both regional and western favorites. Feel at home in Yangon's latest four-star hotel, Best Western Chinatown Hotel. Hotel Yangon, our family-owned hotel is ideally located in its own beautifully landscaped gardens with panoramic views of Yangon City. Enjoy our elegant guest rooms, meeting room facilities, and two restaurants. And let us pamper you with exceptional personal service. All Yangon's top business, shopping, entertainment, and cultural attractions are nearby. Hotel Yangon, your home away from home in Myanmar. The country's tourism sector has seen a strong increase in year-on-year -year visitor figures since the reintroduction of democratic government in 2011. In 2014, there was a 51% growth to 3 million foreign arrivals. This year, visitor figures are expected to grow another 67% to 5 million. The government has big hopes for tourism, hoping to top 10 million tourists by 2020. There is a massive demand for Myanmar's cultural offering. Buddhist pagodas are a big draw for visitors, and some of the best examples can be found in the main cities of the country, which display the influence of ancient dynasties and more recent colonial rule. Yangon is usually that point of arrival for many tourists and provides an excellent introduction to the country, with an interesting mix of colonial, commercial and spiritual influences. The Shwedagon Pagoda is an incredible spectacle and afterwards, the visitors can indulge themselves with a shopping trip for a large array of traditional Myanmar arts and crafts. The ancient city of Bagan lies in the north of the country and contains the highest concentration of temples in the country. Bagan is one of the historical sites. If he is interested in looking the wall heritage sites, recently we are nominated. We were nominated to be a World Heritage Site in Myanmar. So we have three destinations in the central part of the country. So it depends on the desire. If you are ecotourism travelers, you can go to the many, many uh, sites. We have about 21 sites open up for ecotourism travelers. Although relatively new to the international world, Myanmar is rich in history and has two priority candidate sites listed with UNESCO. Balloon rides have proven popular and provide the ideal way to take in the breathtaking architecture. In a lake is a natural setting that provides an alternative to the cities. It is a freshwater lake situated in the Shan State, 2,900 feet above sea level. The surrounding communities expose the tourist to traditional culture and the festivals that take place in September and October are especially popular. 
The ability of the Myanmar government to achieve future targets is helped by the investments being made by many major international hotel chains. You can say it's work in progress. While there has been a very big shortage of hotel rooms in the past years, now since a couple of years, you can say since three, four years, more and more hotels are being constructed, but also um, more and more international hotel companies looking to come into Myanmar. Uh, that means then on the one side that of course in um, Myanmar will have the latest uh, standards in hospitality and you get a lot of knowledge coming into the country. At the same time we will have or we can see a lot of, lot of, lot of, a lot of Burmese workers coming from overseas who used to work in Dubai or Middle East or Singapore coming back into the country. So it is a very interesting time and very exciting to be a part of it. There is a very great potential in the hospitality business. Uh, we only have a handful of international standard hotels over here. So, um, and the international visitors are actually increasing dramatically. So um, we actually have a, a lot of potential for two-star, three-star hotels with you know, international codes that are not in place for now. And on the food and beverage uh, sector, there are not enough good restaurants for the expatriates to go out in the evening. And also there are not enough private clubs or sports center that they can go out and relax or play some sports. And I think that is also another area that we can look at. So I'm, I would want to say that the potential is tremendous. Successful political elections at the end of 2015 have created the possibility for unprecedented economic growth and improving social conditions. The NLD government is expected to play its part through the introduction of legal and economic reforms, which will further increase the country's readiness for foreign investment. You don't often get a chance to get to, to start with the ground floor of the economy that's just beginning in a country. So the neighborhood countries have already been established so much that you do not have too much opportunities to go in. But Myanmar, you know, we are still just the beginning of uh, the, the future accelerating economy that, to grow. So we, we will have like 20 more years to grow. So, I mean, th this is the right time to come in. I think uh, Myanmar will be uh, one of the highest growing economies in Asia. So and it's full of opportunities for businessmen who have good commercial experience and good talents. So every sound businessman should come here to invest. The isolation experienced by Myanmar over the past five decades may have served to restrain its development in the past. However, democratic Myanmar is now in a position where its abundance of natural wealth and untapped resources has the ability to assure future political stability and the development of living standards. There has never been a better time for investors to take advantage of the increasing number of opportunities offered by this flourishing country.